first so goddamn hard. Joe Williams, do not ever, and I mean ever, 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 send me no link to no clickbait, man. Check this out, man. Hold on. I did a video on um, Anthony Morris, man. All the alcohol this dude done brought. You have these Joe Winners trolls. Go in the comment section and send me a link to some old, fat, out of shape, bald headed, um, cross eyed dude. Supposedly, he have proof that the video was, uh, what did he say? The video was, um, fixed or something. Somebody, uh, um, some, somebody did something to the video where it's not even real. It's some, they put, they put the, um, basically somebody, um, put the alcohol electronically in the baskets that Tony Motors had. So what I'm going to do here, man, I'm going to go, I'm going to humor these old witnesses, all right? Because when you send me a video, please make sure it's a legit don't send me no video of some dude sitting there trying to defend something that's um, basically on camera. Don't send me nothing like that, man. You wasting my time. The video is 25 minutes long. The dude's going on and on and on and on. And he's like making some old conspiracy theory of how an apostate they made this video and uh, what do you call that? Photoshop. The alcohol in the basket. Can you believe that? So anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to play this little video. I'm not going to play the whole thing. It's a waste of time, but I'm just going to go through the parts of this Jehovah's Witness conspiracy theorist. I'm just going to show you how stupid this Jehovah's Witness logic really is. Anyway, here we go, man. Good morning. My name is Daryl Wildberg. And this video is not approved by the Watchtower Bible Tract Society of Pennsylvania. It's not approved by the eight wonderful, dear, self-sacrificing, loving brothers there at Warwick, New York, who act as the government bunny. Now, Mr. Magoo, or Darrow, as you prefer to call yourself, of course your video not approved by the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Of course it's not approved by the elders. You know why I know? Because I was a Je uh, Jehovah's Witness for 17 years. And that's the thing about Jehovah's Witness. They forget that us apostates were Jehovah's Witness. They think we forgot or something. They think we don't know. Of course we know your video ain't approved by no uh, Watchtower Society, man. Come on, man. The Watchtower even tell you that, man. And yeah, of course your um, video is not approved by the elders. And in fact, if your elders ever seen your video... They'll drag you out of shape behind in that back room and give you a little talking to, right? That's right, Mr. Magoo. So you don't have to tell us apostates anything about it. We already know that. We already know your video is not approved by uh, Watchtower. We already know that. And they're not my leaders. And it's not approved by any local body of elders. First of all, I'd like to describe <clears throat> this one point that you stupid, imbecilic, Prostates. What you say about your prostate? A prostate. You said something about your prostate. I won't even listen. You said something about your prostate, homie. Oh, you went to uh, you went to the doctor this. You went to the doctor yesterday to get a test on your what? A prostate. Oh, okay. And they found out you had enlarged what? A prostate. You can't, you can't pee in the bathroom because what's enlarged? A prostate. Oh, okay. Yeah, man, that's a little too much information to be spreading on the internet, homeboy. Don't be talking about your prostate like that, man. Prostates keep getting wrong. Anybody is not, are not our leaders. They are not, the body of elders are not our leaders. We. My leader is Jesus Christ. That's who I work for. He works for Jehovah God. So we all, 8.6 million of us, including all the angels and Jesus himself, work for Jehovah God. I wish you postrates would get that through your thick, stupid heads. There's no video out telling me I can't do this. There's no kingdom ministry out telling me I can't do this. Make videos on YouTube. There is nothing. They I'm not going to really go through all the little 
references, but <coughs> actually I am, man. You read this, Mr. Magoo? You read this magazine, Mr. Magoo? Uh, July 15, 2011, what does it say on uh, uh, page 16? Paragraph 6. How can we protect ourselves against false teachers? Avoid them, Mr. Magoo. And then paragraph 7 says, what is involved in avoiding false teachers? Refuse to read their literature, watch TV programs that feature them, examine their websites, or add comments to their blogs. Mr. Magoo, did you happen to read your watchtower? February 15, 2004. Did you happen to read that, Mr. Magoo? Page 28 says, it would be a mistake to think that you, Mr. Magoo, Mr. Daryl Magoo, need to listen to apostates or to read their writings to refute their arguments. Rather, imitate God's response to apostates. Job said to Job, before him, no apostate will come in. So he cannot tell me not to do this. Hold on for a minute. Get this dude about a year. I wouldn't even give him that long. Give him at least a year. This dude going to become an apostate, man. You could tell, man. All that emotion. All this dude's emotion in this video so that he's fighting, man. This dude fighting to hold on to the Joe when it's called. This dude, you heard that emotion in that dude's voice? It's stupid. It, the dude look like he want to attack somebody, man. Like, seriously. He like, if he was right there, he'd try to punch you, man. I mean, he wouldn't try to punch me, you know what I'm saying? Because... He get knocked flat on his behind. But anyway, I'm not violent. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not just saying. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. All that emotion. Yeah, get this dude about a year, man. He gonna be a, uh, he gonna be a full-blown power state, man. All that emotion. Anytime a person is emotional when they defend an argument, let you know you hitting something. You done ruffled some feathers on this dude, man. All right, but anyway. It could be blood guilt. Maybe Jesus Christ wants me to do this. In fact, he does. No doubt about it. But. Today, I'm going to defend Anthony Brown. <laughs> What'd you call him? Anthony Brown. You call him what? Anthony Brown. Anthony who? Brown. Anthony who? Anthony Brown. My dear brother, and I love that brother. He's sharp. He's sharp as a tag. And his talks are superb. Now, your body of Alex, but they're government body. They take the lead. They are not leaders. They take the lead, but they're not leaders? Hmm. I wonder what a leader does. Huh. I guess the people that work at a school are not teachers. They just teach. When you call an Uber, he's not a driver. He's just one who drives. That's the Joe Witness mentality. Stupid. 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 Please, I try to understand that. There's a video that is making its rounds around YouTube of Anthony Morris the third in a liquor store. Now, Anthony Morris, this was on a Sunday, somewhere in New Jersey, a bottle of wine or bottle of liquor or something store. And Anthony allegedly was buying six or 12 uh, bottles of scotch. They claimed that Anthony this uh, moron's taking this video in this store with Anthony there in a trench coat. He's got a little bit of belly like me. But he's not fat, he just... Yeah, 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 he ain't fat, he just got a bill belly, yep. You... Retire. But he needs to work on it. Anthony, you need to work on that. So do I. Standing there in bottle, bottles of liquor on the wall. But there's a cart there with five bottles of liquor in the child seat, which I call other bottles, cases, they're in cardboard boxes and what have you, down on, sitting on the carriage, in, inside the, in the carriage. Nowhere in the video do you see Anthony Morris push that cart. Of course you can't push the cart when you're sitting there looking for alcohol, man. How do you, what you push in the cart for? The cart was sitting right there. He put the alcohol in the cart. Not there. Why don't that moron release that whole video instead of the cut parts? He's cut a lot out of that video. Why didn't that moron get behind video or uh, uh, Brother Morris at the counter and take a picture of the the cost? 
of the scotch. Because when I looked at the video, at where are six bottles of liquor on that checkout counter. You shop at Dollar Tree for your glasses, a lot of things you ain't gonna see. Six. You'll notice he has one case, one box. Anthony has one case in that cart. Yeah. So right there and then you can tell that the whole video is a fraud. It's ridiculous. This Cedar, John Cedars or whatever this stupid name is. Yeah, you're you're a legend in your own mind, you moron. You photoshopped that video. <laughs> yeah, you did. You were ignorant. You were an idiot. And you know what? All your prostate friends fell for it because they're stupid. And they're all stuck on stupid. And they can't get over it. They can't get beyond that stupid. I can't fix their stupid, but hopefully somebody's going to watch this video that I'm making today, this brick wall video to the video that you made for Anthony Morris the third, My dear, self-sacrificing, loving brother, whom I love very much. That's all 8.6 million Jehovah's Witnesses do. But I don't love him any more than any other witness. Okay, you don't love him more than any other bitch, but you made a whole video defending him. Where your other videos at defending any other witness that's defamed? Or any other witness that's been in fellowship? Where's your video defending any witness that's been in fellowship and been talked about behind their backs? You see, witnesses will defend Anthony Morris, but they won't defend the witnesses that's been disfellowshipped, marked, and then you know the other side of the story. So when you sit here and say, oh, y'all don't love Anthony Morris, well, you're making a whole video defending this cat, but you're not making a video defending anybody else. So you just lied right there, player. And Tony Morris is one of those that's been in privilege to give us that food at the proper time. Okay, so if he getting food, then why, why is he not buying food? Why is he buying wine? If, he, if his directives to get food at the proper time, then he should be at the grocery store, not at the liquor store. You understand what I'm saying? There's no other direction that they're supposed to give us. Although loving us like they do, they do keep us from harming ourselves and our spirituality. So they do make suggestions, but they're only suggestions. They can't tell me not to make these videos. They can't tell me anything on how I preach. I answer for myself. They're not gonna answer for me and I don't answer for them. I answer to Jesus Christ and Jehovah myself. I account for myself. Okay, why you got a JW org pin on your shirt, man? Why your name tag ain't on your shirt? You got a dog on JW.org pin on your shirt, man. We, um, if you represent yourself, take that blue pin off your shirt, man. Put a name tag on there, man. Put a hat on, cover that bald snuggin up there, man. Put a hat with your name on it, man. Cover that bald head, man. The light, the glare is blinding me, homie. <laughs> the glare is blinding me. But here we are in this store, and Tony Morris is standing by a cart. There's a wall of liquor in front of him. All right, you moron, you're in that liquor store, and you're asking Tony a couple of questions, trying to trick bag him. It doesn't work. He just makes a couple of statements about whiskey. And then you want to portray that he's some kind of a drunk, a lush. You say you claim that he bought 12 bottles of whiskey, and that's a lie according to the video anyways. But the video's Photoshop. I don't know what's in the video. First of all, I'm gonna ask you people this. That's why when Tony Morris is at the checkout counter and there is six bottles. I stopped it and count, stop it and count six bottles on the checkout counter. You never see Tony Morris pushing that cart. Man, what you mean you ain't seen the, him push the car, man? You watch the end of the video? What's that by his car, man? Is that a cart by his car? Is that a cart by his car that he's putting the alcohol in the back seat from? 
If he didn't push the cart, how would he get it from the shelf to the cash register? He, you mean to tell me he carried 12 bottles of alcohol from the shelf all the way to the cash register and then to his car? <laughs> Where's that in the video? It's not there because Tony Morris didn't push that cart. Might have been another cart behind this guy. That cart looked to me like somebody was stacking the shelves. <laughs> there were five bottles of whiskey sitting in the child seat of that cart. Five. This dude is trying to convince himself that Anthony Morris bought five bottles of wine. When he know deep in his mind, Anthony Morris bought all them bottles of wine, man. Not six, five. There were other boxes. You know, them little uh, decorative boxes sitting in the bottom. You couldn't tell how many were there. Maybe Tony Morris gives them away his gifts at anniversaries and uh, weddings. Maybe Tony Morris give gifts. Joe Wins don't give gifts to nobody. Let your house, house burn down. You think you're going to get a gift of a new house? Man, let you be homeless and on the street. You think the uh, Watchtower Society, any government body, finna give you a gift or anything? No, what gift you? What gift Joe Winters ever gave anybody, man? Come on, man. I ain't got no gift from any um, Anthony Morris, anybody else, man. Only gift they gonna give you is a Watchtower and invitation to the Dog on Memorial, man. What gift a Watchtower gonna give you? A, a, a bottle of wine? Come on, man. You could have came up with something better than that, dude. Maybe when somebody gets baptized. Maybe to celebrate, you know, a 50-year uh, service to Jehovah. Oh, how about this? Maybe just to drink them. There's nothing wrong with that. Give me away whiskey. But you see, you morons want to jump on my brother Anthony Morris the third, like white on rice. Mmm. <clears throat> He's a lush, he's a drunk. Is the tribulation coming, one of you asked? Is the tribulation, is Tony Morris okay? Like you really care. That Smurf idiot. Yeah, the one who makes videos to Smurfs now. Stupid moron. Okay, so obviously this dude watches hella um, apostate videos. How you, who, who's the Smurf? I don't know anybody doing, a, I don't even know who that is, but obviously this cat know who it is. He know who making videos of Smurfs. Um, you know, watching John Cena. Dude. Let me tell you like them elders told me. If you spend more time as you do making videos out there uh, in the field service, you have your time down. But let me guess. You finna sit here and count this as your time. This video is 27. You finna count this as your time. You finna put return, every time you do a video, you finna return visits, ain't you? Ain't you? You done read a scripture? You spent, you, yeah, you read a scripture? So yeah, you count this as your time. I mean, ain't you supposed to be in a ministry? You got your suit on, where you coming from? The Kingdom Hall? I know you don't just sit in your house with a suit on, that suit look hot, man. That suit look hella hot. Do you have, um, saran wrap under that suit? Are you are you trying to sweat some of that um uh, that belly off? What do you what do you doing with that suit on in your house, man? This dude came straight from the kingdom hall and jumped online and made a video. So what he do? He he go what he what this dude do? He go to kingdom hall. He probably go on service like fifteen minutes. Come home, watch an apostate video, reply to it, and when they ask him for his time, he put this time down. Who's the smirk? Who's the smirk? I don't even know who that is. This dude watching all kind of probably. This dude probably go through YouTube and put put your whole winners on every, and watch every video. Biz watch every video, man. Wisdom is proved righteous by its works. Not whether a brother is buying a, a couple of bottles of whiskey in the store. Well, correction, not a couple. 18, player. That's got nothing to do with anything. And what I'd like these morons to do, prove that it was on a Sunday, not that it matters, 
prove that Tony Morris pushed that cart. Prove he bought 12 bottles of whiskey instead of the six that appear on the counter. Did this dude just take it down from 18 to 6? Man, I like how you did that, man. This dude then went down from 18 to 6. He just deleted it. Pretty soon, Anthony Morris had one bottle. Like, you see what this dude doing? And the fact that he only has one case in the cart when he loads it into his car. And the limousine? Is it a fancy? Not an airy car. Lexus, I mean, Lexus or Affinity. Lexus, uh, Nissan. Range Rover. Cadillac. Lincoln. Are we looking at all that alcohol to even pay attention to the car? What are we looking at the car for? We now, the question is, there's only six bottles of wine, of, of liquor, on that counter when he checks out. Only six, and there's only one case in the cart that he puts into the car. One case is six bottles, not 12. They don't put 12 bottles. Ask your local liquor store how whiskey is packaged or how wine is packaged. Six bottles to a case. 12 bottles is too heavy. It's too bulky. Six bottles. So now what on earth could Anthony Morris III be wanting with six bottles? So you say scotch, there's no proof it was scotch. I don't see any proof except, but I don't have that good a camera to see the labels on those six bottles sitting on that counter there. But okay, you want to call him scotch? Maybe he gives them away. Maybe somebody asked him, hey, when you stop by that store, could you buy me a, a bottle of that? Could you buy me a bottle? My <laughs> Maybe somebody asked him. No, nobody asked him nothing because he snuck out. Can't ask somebody who sneak out and get some alcohol early in the morning when it's raining, man. Well, they gave him some money. You think, can you, dude, this dude has become, this, this is what you call cognitive dissonant. And what he's doing is he's convincing himself. You really imagine Anthony Morris saying, I'm finna go to the store, y'all want anything? Can you imagine? You think Anthony Morris asked anybody at the Bethel house, y'all want anything? I'm finna go to the liquor store. You think he asked that? Can you really imagine that? Dude, uh, 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 Daryl Magoo. You really believe what you're saying? You can't, man. Any more than leave out that, um, uh, Bethel house, that Walk Hill, wherever they at, and say, hey, yo, I'm going to the liquor store. Y'all want anything? Yeah, yeah. By the way, give me a bottle too, man. Give me a bottle of that scotch. No, Anthony Moore snuck out. Probably went through the back door or some underground tunnel that they got at Bethel. Got in that little car and drove his... Husky behind, down to the stove, and got them liquor. Got that liquor. Might ask Anthony Morris to get no bottle of uh, scotch for him, man. No, nobody asked the governor body to get them anything. Come on, man. Be real. Goodness, there's three thousand people there at Warwick where he lives. Maybe he was in New Jersey. You know, people claim now there were liquor stores closer. That could be, but nobody said that he went strictly there for the liquor. Do you know that for a fact, any of you? Yep. Hey, maybe he was um, going to look at a house. Maybe he was going to the zoo. Hey, maybe he was finna go to space. Maybe he was doing all such and such. But the thing is, guess what, man? You don't make a spontaneous drop of liquor stone by 18 bottles of whiskey, man. That's planned, man. That's planned buying. I can go spontaneously be driving and say, man, I'm gonna give me a drink. No, that, you don't spontaneously pull up to the liquor stone by 18 bottles of whiskey. You had that on your mind before you left the house, all right? So be real, man. Come on, Magoo. Filthy, foul-mouthed prostates just cannot stop. Well, let me tell you something. Boom! You just hit a brick wall because there ain't a single one of you morons who can prove how many bottles he bought. You can't prove how much he paid for it. That liquor could have been on sale. Might have been $30 a bottle. Might have been $20 a bottle. Do you know for a fact? No, you don't know that. You have no clue. You don't know if he pushed that cart that was sitting there with them five bottles in the child seat. You don't know that. There's no video of that. Why? Why isn't there any video of that? Why didn't this moron that had to disguise his voice? Why? Why did he have to disguise it? The whole thing is a fraud, you phonies. 
thing is a fraud. Hey, hey, Johnny, hey, come on, man. You morons. How can you not know that that whole video was a fraud? You can, you people are really stuck on stupid. It's no wonder you're apostates. <laughs> it's no wonder. Because you people are just stupid. Hey, Anthony, if you're watching this, invite me over. I'd like to tip a drink or two with you. That's how stupid people are. You're so gullible. So stupid. So idiot. So much idiot. And then you wonder why I accuse you of being stupid here on my videos. You apostates. And you apostates. And you DF'd and you disassociated ones. Not you inactive ones. Although you border on being that. And some of you apostates are not really idiots. You've just done stupid things by drifting away from Jehovah. Return to him. Stop making fun of Tony. I'm here. I'm here ready for all of you. You know, I've had all you people accuse me. Some of you morons wanted to have sex with me. <laughs> have sex with you, man. <laughs> hey, I know. <laughs> Dude, nobody have sex with you, man. Your hand don't even want to have sex with you, man. <laughs> Every time this dude try to have sex with his hand, his hand slap the hell out of him, man. Ain't nobody want to have sex with you, player. <laughs> dude, this hand in a Me Too movement, man. Man, said, nobody want to have sex with you, man. Would you, don't be playing yourself, dude. You morons. Get a life, will you? Brick wall! You just came up to it. The Tony, the Anthony Morris, the third video is photoshopped. And have a good day. But again, this is a cognitive dissonance in this cat, man. Okay, I didn't see Anthony Morris push the cart. Well, what did Anthony Morris have at the cash register? He had a cart. What did he have on top of the cash register? He had the same bottles of whiskey as you seen when he was down the aisle. You mean to tell me Anthony Morris carried them bottles from the aisle all the way to the cash register? No, he pushed the cart over there. Just because you don't see the other bottles... Just so you don't see the other bottles on top of the cash register, don't mean he didn't already pay for them and they scan them. Sometimes you ain't got to put the bottles on top of it. They can come around and scan them. It'd be a waste of time to pick all that up and put them back in there. So just because you don't see it, don't mean it's not there, man. Just like your God, just because you don't see him, don't mean it's not there, right? So Brother Daryl, man, since your goons came on my channel sending me a link to this dumb video, I want to challenge you to a debate, man. A debate, but I guarantee you won't do that. I guarantee you won't do that. But anyway, man, that's all I gotta say about that, man. I'm out, man. Thank you for watching. Um, these your witness is blind. These your witness is blind, and it's, it, it's ridiculous that this dude gonna come on the thing and try to convince. And I'm pretty sure his witnesses watched that video. I'm pretty sure his witnesses that watched that video. And sit there and say, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Um, and again, to those people, they gonna die in this religion, man. It's like, come on, you, if you if you that naive to sit there and come up with a whole video and in your mind remix what you saw, that's a that's a dangerous person to be around. That's a very dangerous person to be around. They can actually remix what's on the camera. This this is an individual that will sit there and lie, and he lies so much he believes his own lies. So until next time, man, appreciate you guys for watching, and I'm out.